What's going on YouTube? So I wanted to show you how I look at a brand new body of water that I either haven't been to in a really long time or that I've never been to in general. A body of water that we don't have any mapping for. There's no contours on avionics or anything like that. And how I use Google Earth Pro to make some decisions before I get out on the water. So we're going to take a look here at Hollis Q Latham Reservoir at the Cherokee da Dawson County line up in North Georgia. I plan to go there soon and so I want to get a little bit of, of an idea of where I should target first. So say you didn't have a fish finder, depth finder, something to see the contours and you don't fish there often. This will be something that you can use to better your chances out on the water when you go. So let's dive into it. Let me show you real quick what I do and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas on stuff you can do in your bodies of water as well. All right, so let's get into it. First of all, you want to download Google Earth. This is a free program provided by Google. This is Google Earth Pro. Cost me nothing. Um, and you can see we've got a map of the United States. So let's uh, go to Hollis Q. Latham Reservoir right here. It'll zoom in. You see a couple of things I already have marked there, different areas. Um, so this is the reservoir. The, the big thing with Google Earth Pro versus something just like uh, Google Maps or Google Earth is having access to this historical imagery. Use the time slider to move between acquisition dates. So this little green arrow, arrow with the, the clock, you want to click that. So what this shows us is basically select images from 1992 all the way to present. They are aerial images. So as long as your body of water is, is relatively new, built after 1992, then this function, that what we're doing today, would actually benefit you. Uh, yeah, at least if you're looking at a reservoir. If you're just trying to find land access for a, a local fishing spot or just to see if there's bodies of water, this will work perfect. But if we're trying to find contours in a lake that doesn't have any kind of contour maps, then if it was created after 1992, then we will have something to look at. So just looking through here, we'll go very beginning. So this is a, a black and white satellite image. This area, this is all forest. Um, so if we go to the next image, by the, this was December 1992, the next image was February 1999. It looks like they already cleared out a lot. There's a tiny bit of water in the reservoir. Um, and then it's all just dirt and rock. The next image we have comes in at, I guess, the same year, just a little bit more clear, different image, all right? So then it jumps all the way to November 2005, and we are already flooded with water. So, so we've got that, it'll continue. Oh. Here we go, we lost control. We've got November, we've got September 2006, December 2007, April 2008, September 2009. So from here on out, we pretty much have an image every, every year, different months. Uh, another thing you can do is use Google Earth here to find the particular season that you're gonna be fishing to see what the water looks like if you can decipher that um, here we've got October so spring the water looks relatively clear there's no grass that I can see uh, and if we zoom in you can definitely get a pretty good picture um, so here's the dam here's the boat ramp area but you can get an idea so the water is relatively clear it looks like year-round it looks like we so we're in the spring now Still relatively clear here you see there's a bunch of uh, stumps lay downs just by the boat ramp and then uh, there's a little distorted image there but you can see if you were not sure you've never been to this body of water now you have at least an idea of the water clarity is there any there's no grass here from what we can see here so it doesn't get all all mucky and nasty this probably isn't the world's greatest frogging pond or a body of water but let's go back so really what we're gonna be looking at 
at this body of water in particular is going to be that 1999 image and there's two of them let's see that one looks a little distorted this one looks a little more clear so basically what I'm looking at right now I'm trying to decipher the contours of the bottom of this lake so I'm gonna jump between this February 1999 image and then the most recent image uh, we'll jump here I don't like that one not great so April 2007 here's our boat ramp here's the dam and then uh, let's go back to this one so our boat ramp the dam where is it oh there's the dam so we can see there is definitely it looks like a lot of rock going on right here there's some rock going on right here here is a creek channel so this is all information that I would never know if I didn't have some kind of fish finder depth finder uh, to see the bottom contours so we can see we've got a creek channel coming in through here all the way it looks like there's some rock there there's some kind of structure going on there's a lot of rock right here just off the boat ramp you got this nice little s contour of uh, structure here we've got another creek channel up in here nothing too crazy so this is already flooded we can't see much but we know it's deep it must be and there's some rock definitely right there there's it looks like there's a little hill a mountain that's submerged here we it looks like we've got some some kind of gradient leveling down a lot of rock in the middle there's something here some structure it looks like here there's some rock up some type of bluff wall we've got the main creek channel here we've got a small creek look right there the, those shadows indicate to me that there's some kind of contour significant contour and if you wanted you jump between this image to the most recent image so you can confirm what's underwater underwater what's not so this this little point here whatever this is let's see what it looks like so all, all of this was grass the creek wasn't even really there before flooding or you couldn't even really see it this looks kind of significant you can also rotate your angle if you want to get a different view there's some trees right around this creek bend let's check it out in the most recent so that's still there that little island remained it didn't get flooded let's check it again flooded so no this road which we don't really see in the old image but the water ends right here so in here there's a culvert very defined uh, creek channel there and it goes all the way back so just comparing from previous image to current we can now see a lot of the different contours. Look at all of this. That would be a perfect hiding spot, something for a fish to hug against. Assuming that's underwater, let's just make sure. Oh, so that's where the bridge is, so. But some of this, this is underwater still. We should have access to that, right? Yeah. So let's zoom out here. So th this is just a quick way to get an idea of what you want to fish. So I know right now we are in December, almost mid middle of December. The fish will most likely be a little bit deeper, a little bit more towards main lake. I know Hollis uh, Latham Reservoir has 
some spotted bass and spots love rock um, and they love those bluff walls around this time of year so that would be something that I might try and target right away the other way I would use this is checking it out let me see if there's an image here's a if there's a December image October isn't that far off here's a December and it kind of stinks it some kind of shadows casted on here. So let's go to that October image. Pretty clear. Let, let's uh, get oriented again. North is up. So right off the boat ramp, we saw there's a lot of rock down here. You can see, in particular, we already looked at this point a little bit. The more you zoom in, you can see all of those trees and laydowns. Let's look at it. So the other thing you can do is look at particular points that you want to check out. Different images have different water clarity. Look here, we got a boat. Let's see if we can find one with pretty clear that one's not bad that one's not that great so far this one's looking pretty good bad image bad image I wonder if the water was low here bad image all right so I am really liking it 2000 what was it where'd it go 2012 it's pretty good I think this one's most clear and just scan the banks here we got a kayaker <laughs> he made it and we got another looks like a kayaker but look at all these lay downs coming in to the water and if you've ever been to Hollis you or Latham Reservoir you know how many stumps there are coming out of the water here you can see them so if we jump between this image and the old, maybe we can see something. No. So this was all trees on that, that image. Back in the day, this wasn't even rock. So they just cut all these trees and left the stumps there, which is great for fishing, really. But look, lay down after lay down. So we can assume this is going to be more shallow. But that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. You can see the clarity here. You can see I don't know who knows how deep that is, but maybe 10, 15 feet deep. Off the bank, we can rotate this. Try and look a little better into that cove. But so this is what I do when I'm going to a brand new body of water. I'll scan the banks. If I've got images prior to when the, the place was flooded then I'll look at those images as well and I'll either take screenshots of this and send it to myself and save it on my phone or I'll print out a bigger map and I'll I'll make marks on it myself and I'll give that to myself as a guide so there you go guys it's not difficult this is a free program anybody can download it you can use this to try and find some bank fishing spots as well as look at the history of the lake and see what you can find. There's a lot of reservoirs that they drop the water levels. You could probably use these images as well to find some of those contours along the bank even though you might not be able to see all of it. But there you go. Hope that helps and if you got any questions leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to try and answer it for you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace.